Folks, welcome to the Sports Scientists Podcast, episode number six. six. I haven't introduced like, you to that motherfucker. Why are you? Speaking? It's like Sesame Street. Six. I have trouble counting. Also, I uh, born and raised for the first several years of my life in Russia. I've never seen Sesame Street. What? Too happy. Anything happy? No good. Uh, Sesame Street is uh, how you say too happy. All right. I'm as always. Oh, recently, Dr. Mike Isretel, my uh, co-host number one or two. We don't uh, stratify the co-host. I better not be number two. I'm number God one, damn. bitch. Mr. Marcos Rodriguez, as always. Affirmative action New wins. York City's best trainer, 50 years in a row. <laughs> and Dr. James Hoffman, sports scientist extraordinaire, dad outfit wearer, beer drinker, burper. Burper. And who is this fucking gigantic gentleman... To all the way I'm to the comfortably right sitting in this little chair. <laughs> Steve, we gave you our biggest fucking chair. That was the biggest one. <laughs> oh, my God. This is Steve Pulsanella. <laughs> Pulsanella. Pulsanella. Right. There we go. Everyone wants to always put a... a God damn, Everybody Scott, does that. doesn't fucking... How do you... I cl- it's good closed. I can't do the email. Uh, Where's the, the internet button? Is to, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, you can't do it either, old bitch. Is this uh, the Facebook... Animals. Where's the wall? <laughs> I like how I have no titles. You guys had doctors and this and that, trainers. I'm, I'm getting zero that. titles. It's, I, gym yeah. that. That's all bullshit anyway. <laughs> Steve is a man who has lifted weights for quite some time. Yeah. Anyway, get it. <laughs> so, uh, Steve, you have done a number of super impressive strength feats and titles throughout your glorious career. The way I found about out about you first is you were actually on World's Strongest Man. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, 1994. That's super fucked lifetime up. Lifetime away. First question, not on here. How many people can say that, and how does it feel to be able to say that? It, it does feel good. I mean, although it wasn't like the shining moment of my life because, you know, I really wasn't like – I was just outclassed, and I knew it. And they, when they invited me in 94, back then it was just purely invitational. I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. I mean, I did pretty well on a smaller scale, but – I can no no way hang with guys in that you know in that level, but they convinced me to do it. And I'm glad I did it because it was cool. It was fun. Sure. It's neat to say you did it, you know. But man, I'm just I was just outclassed. <laughs> them guys were huge. Yeah, I'm big, but them guys are on a whole other level. Yeah, the guys today sure. are way even bigger. Oh, fuck. oh yeah. Hafdor Bjornsson doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you think about him. He's only like four hundred and thirty <laughs> pounds. Yes, yeah, a small man. And guess what? There's somebody out there right now that's going to make him look small. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, totally. Some basketball player that's just getting tired of Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. Um, Steve, you are also a gym owner, and you own, own Iron Sport. Yep. Um, Philadelphia's premier strength training facility. And you are literally the do you even lift guy. I became the do you even lift guy somehow. That's I'm right. sweet with that one facial expression. <laughs> with facial expression. Do you know like where that came from? Was that like a seminar? Do you know where the origin of that picture yeah, it was from a, 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 a video that we had made at the gym, um, kind of like mocking the Planet Fitness, uh, one of their commercials that they were throwing out, you know, the, the muscular bodybuilder guy or whatever. And we kind of made a, you know, a, a video about that. Iron Sport and, and there's one scene in that video. My cousin, Mike Polsonella, who, um, he's a documentary filmmaker and has made some bodybuilding documentaries. He did, um, Overkill with Kai Green and a bunch of that oh, stuff. Shit. Cool. And, uh, he said, look, I want to shoot just one thing off the side here. Just look. Kind of past the camera with no expression on your face at all. And I'm going to put that in there. It's going to be the funniest part. And I said, just my face with no expression is going to be the funniest part. He goes, trust me, it'll be the funniest part. And we put this, he edited this thing up. As soon as you put it on YouTube, it was like the comments were that face at 25 seconds, that face at 25 seconds, that face at 20. Yeah. And it was the funniest part. And then somebody days later got a screen grab of that and wrote through even lift under it, of it. And that was, it just, that thing just flew. Oh my God. And even today, so cool. I mean, it was like, that was like eight years ago. I put that shit on my Facebook wall. <laughs> See, I remember like it was, I was walking around the Arnold this year and people just stopped me every two feet. You're the even lift guy. And it was funny. That's exciting. Yeah. It was just like, I never thought after all these years, it would still be going on. Well, it has made me no money though. Fuck. Uh, money's, <laughs> money's overrated. It's all about uh, the spiritual well, journey. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Has it at least gotten you any like recognition or people like, like, do they do they find Iron Sport because of the meme? Or uh, I guess yes. it probably has happened in the past. Yeah. Listen, every time. So I've asked for like a bodybuilding gym in the city of Philadelphia. I was very specific in the actual city of Philadelphia on Facebook, and every other cocksucker was like, "You gotta go to Iron Sport, <laughs> motherfucker." I'm like, "Don't you think I fucking know where that is? is?" Not a bodybuilding gym at all. <laughs> so now I train at your gym. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. 
let's get to the business side. Let's get to the Prepare dirt. Let me yourself. tell you guys what's important. World peace. The development of sustainable nuclear power. Instagram questions. And World Star Insta- Hip Hop. World Star is very important. And Instagram questions from random people. Mm, Steve, can't up, wait. Are you ready to can't wait. In? Okay. So this is for everyone. Mm. But the uh, Steve, do you want the first word or the last word? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the last word. I want to hear these guys have to say first. Damn. Okay. <laughs> that gives me time. He's to trying to gauge how serious. I want to see. I want to see <laughs> <laughs> what he said. All right. Bruce Warner nine one seven two two motherfucker. Is that a zip code? I know where you live, motherfucker. Wisconsin says pick a side, sumo or conventional. What the? I did not. I hate everybody. All right, let me say the first word here. I've been doing this for a long time. How long? They were. I mean, I've been lifting for almost forty years. I've been involved in powerlifting for almost every one of those years. We we were just talking about this um, earlier today. Why have all these newbies? Picked up on something that has been around for a long time, something Ed Cohen did, something Mike Bridges did in the 70s. You know, other other lifters have been doing since way back in the 60s, and all of a sudden, they have deemed this, you know, cheating. Like, fuck you, man. That's this why I like, love you, Steve. You just started lifting a year ago, and you're making the rules now? Get the fuck out of here. They've been around. sumo has been around forever, and it's going to be around forever. If you suck yeah. at it, you just suck at it. I suck yep. at it. I don't say to somebody who's good at it, stop doing it because it's cheating. I don't understand. I don't, I don't get this. How the newbies are all making all the rules yeah. now. Man. I never hear like, "Do you prefer incline over flat bench?" It's like it's two different things. Just fucking do both and shut the fuck up. That's, That's the it. thing. Like the yeah. question is so limited. Of course, it's like could you could even break it down and say like for your for for your meat, you could do it for hypertrophy, like off season training. Like, what do you want to know? Like, is it better for tall people or short people? Like, there's so m- it's a bad question. I think you can answer the question by being. Just totally fucking stupid and be like, fucking conventional, bro, because you fuck pick the bar up off the ground. That's it. I mean, that's the typical kind of answer that right. people at work. I mean, with. no one ever said to Ed Cohen, no one ever questioned that all the world records he said. You come up to sumo, Ed Cohen and you tell him sumo sucks. Yeah, it's just, no, no one's ever said anything. Well, Ed Cohen's doing 900, but it's sumo. No one's ever done that no. until just recently. Yeah. You know? It's it just, comes, I don't it, understand. I think it's, it's, it's going to wax and wane just like the low carb thing kind of waxes and wanes periodically. Like, like sumo all shit talking. Core about. training waxes and wanes. It all comes, goes away, comes back, goes away, comes yeah. back. Yeah. So. Um, it's because the next generation hasn't had that discussion yet, so it's now the last them. generation didn't have have Instagram where everybody's a freaking expert. Either, yeah, that's, you know true. I mean? that's true. People have also said the following joke, which I simply don't understand. They analogize sumo pulling to ass eating. Have you heard about this, Steve? No, but <laughs> what? I mean, no, both but, are good in my book. I mean, uh, hey man, uh, hey man, uh, 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 my arms are long enough. <laughs> so, uh, but on a serious note, like they're like, oh, people who eat. Who pulls sumo eat ass. And like people, someone pulls what? sumo and if anybody like you ass eater, I'm like, I, what is, I don't get it. What's the connection? Are we in third grade? I have no fucking You're clue. lost. Is it because of the way their ass is positioned or the way that they're. Or were they see a guy doing it? They would eat his ass? Yeah. Like that's, like, that's that what, what I'm thinking, right? Know. What's the connection? There's no sexual connection between deadlifting and sex. There's no connection. I'm sorry. Sorry. There's a lot of connections. Not that eating but... ass is really sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's nonsense. It's almost rape sexual. (laughs) Would you rather eat someone's ass while they were pulling conventional or pulling sumo? Ooh, sumo because it's opened up more. It's opened up a lot more. He's got some more access. Sumo stiff like a deadlift bottom position. I guess we picked their side. All right. (laughs) Sumo. Sumo or good morning? What? Fuck. If you uh, analingus, either sumo deadlift or good morning. Good morning. Fuck, good morning. Mm. James just turns into Morpheus. It's like, I don't know what side to pick, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick the machine. <laughs> you want side. the red pill or the blue pill, homie? Or the brown pill in this case? I would just take <laughs> them both. <laughs> the brown pill. Can All I right. try them both first? <laughs> so, Josh P. Thomas <laughs> <laughs> says, oh, this is a super fucked up one. Would you rather <laughs> walk around in an ass to grass squat for the rest of your life? <laughs> What? Or carry a 150 kilogram Atlas stone with you wherever you go for the rest of your life? What the fucking kind of question is this? It's just, <laughs> it's so, so stupid. Shit. It's not even interesting or entertaining. <laughs> of course you'd want to walk around ass to grass because how the fuck would be you carry a 150 kilogram stone? How are you going to carry the stone? <laughs> What is wrong next with people? Next question. Next question. Yeah, but I, I, have, I have a vote. How about neither? <laughs> neither. Yeah. I think the emotional Why are you baggage limited carry, to this? I think the emotional baggage we carry is heavier than that stone. Ooh, Damn, that's, 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 hold on. So, like, what's the situation? Is somebody following you around with a gun? 
What, why, what is this? So you're in a dungeon? A fucking Some weird like bodybuilding weird dungeon? Oh, I got one. Just... Crabs, super crab aliens have taken over, and th- you're, if you're going to look like them and they don't find out who you are, you get an Aston grass squat and you walk like a fucking crab. <laughs> crab people? Yeah. Crab people. The Allostone's tougher to figure out. I guess they figured because I'm a straw man, I would... We want to get the Atlas Stone thing in there. I'm not so sure there. what they were looking for with this yeah. answer. I mean, what kind of answer would Maybe have been you have real a Siamese singer? I can't even think of anything. Either. I can't even think of a funny answer to that question. You'd be like, it's a fucking. <laughs> I picked the stone because I'm a strong man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's home right now, jerking off, listening to it. Oh, 100. Uh, uh, like, oh my god, the answer to my question. Josh the answer. Stone, my Grab that stone, Steve. <laughs> Thanks for the question, Josh Thomas, but it was yeah. fucking stupid. Uh, Josh's uh, emoji, like his his profile pic, is him seemingly embracing a beautiful woman with a uh, a sunset. Impossible. Behind. That is impossible. I mean, it could be doctored. <laughs> I haven't even done that. How's he doing that? But there that's he is beautiful. up there. Oh, that's, beautiful that's a good bitch. picture. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And she's like thinking, oh my God, he's the man of my dreams. And he's like, I wonder if Stevie P could carry a hundred <laughs> fucking idiot. It's it's like that meme. I wonder if he's thinking about other women, and he's like on the other side, like turned. He's like, I wonder if he would carry that Atlas stone. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it is. While yeah. they're having sex, that's yep. what he's thinking about. J.K. Josh, all in good fun. All right. Ooh, a racially charged. No, oh, ra- it's no. not a racially charged oh, question. Like shit. It's a racially charged person. Oh. David Baker with three Ks from the A to the fucker. E. Ooh. Dave, that's not funny, motherfucker. It's yeah, 2018. Man, on, that's like a European person who just didn't know what that the implications was. You yep. know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. Remember when we were in Finland and they like one of the grocery stores was like yep. the KKK and they wow. had to like change it. <laughs> so it was the Kmart version, and it was like the K is just a little kiosk. The double K is like like a gas station size store, and then the triple K is like a big grocery store. Oh man! That and they like found right out here. a couple yeah. years ago that you couldn't do that, and they had to change it to like super K instead of triple K. Anyway, David, you racist motherfucker. Um, <laughs> God. Ra- oh, God. Oh, his question really does match the audacity of his name. Here we Star- go. Sorry in advance. <laughs> we don't pick the questions, uh, Steve. Rather fuck a goat and no one and no one that knows about it. This is phonetically fucking difficult to read. Rather fuck a goat and no one uh, knows about it or everyone thinks you fucked a goat while you actually didn't, but no one will believe you. <laughs> I'd rather not fuck the goat. <laughs> but I don't care about but thinks, everyone so. thinking I, you're everybody, a goat everybody thinks I've done much worse than that anyway, so I don't mm. really care. <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 this is like a deeply disturbing question because, like, if people thinking that you're a goat fucker, that's a career ruiner right there. Yeah, I mean, you can't get a job. And, like, maybe. It's more if, of an internal struggle. You're like, like a bouncer at a golf bar at that point. Would you feel good about fucking a goat and getting away with it? I mean, like, if you were going to fuck the goat anyway, you, you probably don't have a problem with it, so... How's that going to kill your career? There's been mayors out there that smoke crack with hookers who got reelected. Yeah. There's professional bodybuilders that on but, camera but don't you think fucked a grapefruit. Bestiality no is like care. another level, though. Rumors. Fruity alley. In this day and age, I, I think a, a president could probably get away with it at this day and age. Fuck. Like, over time. You know what I mean? Over time. It's what like if, the first episode yeah, of Trump Black did it, I'd be like, I was going to say, what if Trump did it? Are there any questions that aren't either this or that? Are there any questions? No. <laughs> no. That, no. That, that was kind of <laughs> so, James, that, you're... Um, I'm conflicted. Can you pull that microphone closer to yourself? Yeah. Perfect. James, uh, conflicted, so no clear answer? Because yeah, if you're somebody who would ponder, like, if you're interested in fucking a goat, then you wouldn't have any moral problem with it, right? You'd be like, I got away with it, and I wanted to, right? So it's like, you wouldn't feel bad about but it. But what if it's gone to your head, and guy's like, you either fuck this goat, or it's a Russian guy, clearly. He's like, look, mister, you either fuck this that, goat, and that we keep it silent, con- or we tell everybody. That violates the condition of the thing, because somebody already knows. Yeah, but that he's not telling anyone. No one listens to fucking Sergey or Dimitri anyway. But he is he trustworthy? It depends on the goat, too. Is it young? He's going to take a video old? and it hold hairy? it as collateral. Is it freshly washed? Is it nared? Right. Does it smell good? I mean, I'm just thinking this is what ISIS thinks about before they do all this shit. <laughs> these, are the things, these are the things I consider before I have sex great, with a woman, too. Yeah, right? do, is she yeah, freshly yeah, washed? You could ask ISIS guy this question and be do you like, even I wash? understand part of the question. Yeah. <laughs> do you even wash? Do you even wash your goat? Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's change the topic to something not completely insane. Yeah. The Barbell Resistance asks, favorite way to what? cheer up on a gloomy, rainy Sunday? Uh, that would be Percocet. <laughs> nice. Good answer. <laughs> choice. I'm more of a Viking man myself. Viking with Percocet. or without alcohol? <laughs> with. Yeah. How are you going like, to swallow it? Mean without- <laughs> to swallow it? <laughs> you got to activate it. Yeah. The alcohol, I just want to understand how you activate, activate the, you know, the oxys. Yeah. They think you just Vikes take it. Vikes don't do it for me. They just make me constipated. Same. 
That's why you take them before you go on a long ride on a plane. Yeah, so no, I hear. I was kidding. You guys are full blown drug addicts, though. I think. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Vikes make me feel nah. like everything's going to be okay. You, you know what? You know what's honestly very relaxing to me is smoking a cigar. Sitting on my back porch, smoking a cigar while my dog runs around. Is it because it gives you the feel of having a, a dick in your hand? Without you actually say that. It? Okay. No. Cigar it's just gives nice. you a feeling of ingesting a lot of tar. <laughs> Excellent. I love that feeling. <laughs> Cigars I, are awesome. Actually. I like the smell. Yeah. I don't yeah. smoke, but I like the the smell is awesome. The smell yeah. is nice. Marcos, good you're still talking about cigars, right, James? You have <laughs> yes. rolled cigars in a factory against your will in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> of course you They make really good cigars, actually. <laughs> they really fucking do. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we got the Sunday out of the way. James, gloomy Sunday? Uh, PlayStation. Jesus Christ, you have no goddamn uh, friend. I'm a nerd. Marcos? At this point, I'm going to start fucking shopping for goats on fucking Amazon. Oh, well, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> Amazon farm. <laughs> While I'm parking it. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite way to spend a uh, gloomy Sunday is to organize my online goat store. So pathetic motherfuckers like this <laughs> can be made profitable. Hook me up with that discount code, bitch. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's just, Those things come and they go. Bruce <laughs> so Leo. <do> <laughs> hey, oh. hey, hey. Yeah, you came and then you won't leave. <laughs> Bruce Leo. Bruce uh, Lee. This is a real stretch. Is it like Lee hyphen O? Can I say it? something? Yeah. That's my brother. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> like literally your brother? That's my biological <laughs> younger brother. What'd he say? But fuck. He doesn't look like you. Yeah, no. He looks a little bit Caucasian. Brother from another Cops mother? Cops never stop him. What's the fucking question, bro? It's a fucking ridiculous question. He goes, what do you think of cardio? Oh, God. And Cardi B. <laughs> 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 Not a fan of either. Yeah. Um, <laughs> quote of the both podcast. Are, both are annoying. <laughs> yep. Uh, I actually saw a clip of Cardi B. I don't even know who she was when I saw it, but they were talking about her. I guess she was at Coachella or something. And my daughter's actually there working right now. And she was like, oh, my God, I saw Cardi B. I said, I saw a clip of her trying to perform. And that I've never seen anybody more talentless <laughs> become so famous. I mean, it's just absolutely awful to the ear. I mean, they're all just... Whoa. Produced in this, you know, studio, but the video when they saw, try to, was she like playing live? Is yeah, that- she was playing live, oh. and it was just, I mean, it was horrible. It was like, like cringeworthy, horrible. But and people Steve, going nuts. Be careful, over it. Oprah loves her. <laughs> Oprah probably loves a lot of people. Really, by Oprah likes Cardi B. <laughs> yeah, she fucking posted that shit on social media. Listening to the new Cardi B, I was it's, like, she's the bro, one who used to be a stripper. I right? can't even. Do, you know what? Even if I want to do Cardi O, I can't because every time I try, someone will inevitably walk in and be like. Holy shit, dude. I never seen you do that before. <laughs> and it fucking infuriates me. Yeah. I so that. much that I just never do it. Powerlifting that's bullshit it. where it's a sets of five. Yeah. That's cardio, We're brother. Cardio. Like, you're going to die yeah. of a massive heart attack if you keep thinking <laughs> like that, you fucking piece of shit. It's my, funny because they take my face and they put that meme on it. And everybody yeah. thinks I said that. Yeah, like, I don't that's the thing. I don't make that. these memes that go around my face on them. Imagine. And if I did, they'd be way funnier. But some of them are just terrible. Yeah, you said earlier that these young people are, are making the rules they're not making the rules they're making the memes they're making the memes that they think are the rules yeah. right and but it's, it's the same people awful. that listen to cardi b so apparently there's a trend that's, that's exactly what it is. i um was really saddened one day i was trying to figure out who cardi b was when i scrolled on uh instagram and one of cardi b's videos and i'm sorry so first of all she has like 19 million fucking followers i don't know so how they do it yeah but there uh, I, I just like clicked on one comment because it was like highly misspelled it was a like seemingly like a nine year old girl that was like Cardi B, you are my hero. I want to be like you when I grow up. And I'm like, oh my god! I blame Oprah for that shit. It's Don't the me. rise of anti intellectualism, my friends. That really is. Let's see if they're still playing her songs on the radio thirty five years from now in oh, heavy no. rotation, like they are other she'll, classic rock songs. Dude, she'll be in concert happening. with the fucking Kardashians. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh god, yeah. It's going to be like Dan Ross, comma, Cardi B. Ugh. Unlikely. I mean, there are some young talent out there that I think is good that I don't you, I don't listen to, but I think that's That is a talent. highly potentially misinterpreted statement. <laughs> Time out. Time out. So what's your playlist like, Steve? Oh, my playlist is pathetic. I wouldn't even tell anybody what it is. It's just so You horrible. can't beat James. I promise. I, you know, I listen to like Hank Williams 3 and just, you know, some old country and stuff. Is that, and is I, that, is that a white guy? Other things thrown in. <laughs> classic <laughs> rock. It's boring shit like Van Halen and stuff like that. Yeah. It's nothing. It's nothing <laughs> cutting edge, trust me. It's nothing to brag about. Um, I love classic. You listen yeah, you got a hold to of, country? Like older country. like. But I like Hank 3, which is like raucous punk kind of country and like... Reverend Horton Heat and stuff like that. I like that stuff. I don't know. It's different. 
We don't Marcos, did any I of that make sense nope. to you? No, nope. <laughs> nope. nope. comprende. Remember when we were in Johnson City and we had that real fucking derpy Honk, country, honky tonk, fucking country, country, where it was like every song was about Jesus, your <laughs> dog, and your truck, truck, and your yeah. beer. <laughs> um, there was a country song, I think, or a rock song that while we were at school in Johnson City, Tennessee, referenced Johnson City, Tennessee. I know exactly what song you're talking wagon about. Wagon wheel, wagon wheel. Yeah, Bob Dylan, and um, they played that <laughs> every sporting, every sporting location. event. Yes. <laughs> Because that may be the only mention of Johnson City in Pocket. <laughs> Believe me, it is. Ever. It's kind of weird, though, because Johnson City is kind of an obscure place. Like, they mentioned the Cumberland Gap and Johnson City, which is, like, butt fuck nowhere. Yeah. So. Probably had good sex there. Or I live in Swarthmore, Pennsylvania, where there's a co- Swallows, co- Swarthmore College is. And that's mentioned in an old Mamas and Papas song. Oh, the Mamas yeah. and the Papas. That's My right. parents told me about their music. Yeah. Marcus? That's a fun fact. That's uh, a fun fact for you. There you go. Ring, ring, <laughs> ringing a bell? Nope. But nobody at Swarthmore College knows the song. <laughs> well, I'm sure. That's a bit, date, but bit dated. It's old. Questions? The next one's not a question. No. Oh. Who's screening these? Me. Ugh. Perfect. I thought this was a little funny. Is it? Is it? Are, am I living my best life? Oh. <laughs> you can't ask yourself questions, Steve. <laughs> Steve, do you have like that's what love? I was expecting? Shit like that. Like, do you, you have like, a your love poster at home, like a, <laughs> like above your bed? How, no, how do you align your chakras? <laughs> I don't even know what my chakras are. <laughs> For a fee that can be shown to you, you won't God. be the same after. Somebody just said, mind you, is a direct request for questions. Goes, OMG, DJ. Khaled, who they spelled wrong, mm-hmm. doppelganger. Apparently, you look like DJ Khaled. As far as I have seen of him, he's just like a big, like heavy set black dude. Uh, I think he's a uh, Arab of some sort. Right? Oh, is he? Has the name Khaled. Oh, okay. Yeah. There are black Muslims with names like that. No, I wouldn't no, I say doppelganger. He's... I would say is he have a he's beard big. Like you? He's big and he has a beard. Yeah, yeah that's about it. That's about. I think if. You, There's a lot of beardism, the first of all. first person to come to mind is DJ Khaled that you look like. The, yeah, this person the is just guy. wholly unfamiliar with strength sport. What, I used, to get, are, what I used to get all the time back in the day was you look exactly like that guy from over the top. Like when I was younger and bigger. And uh, I did. Bad he kind of had, that, yeah, had yeah, that, that look. Yeah, fuck, you're right. And, but I used to get that from everybody, man. So that's Dude. not His you. name was Rick Zumwalt. And he was a real, like, real arm wrestler. Yeah. The people that guy was you know, fucking scary. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was an actual like you know world champion. He wrestling. was also you could tell he's actually pretty intelligent because of the way like the, remember the fake interview of the yeah. interviews they did. He actually like talks with like, quite a bit of cogency. I was really interested in that. And he's like, they're like, so what are your goals for this competition? He's like, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna break this guy's arm. I'm gonna break his will. I wanna make sure he never arm wrestles ever again. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I'm That's sure the way those guys really are too. Fuck, you know, it's funny, dude. I don't think anyone in jujitsu really says that before a tournament, like, I'm going to make sure all the yeah. guys I roll with never roll again. And be like, what? <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not rolling with you, asshole. Did you see that documentary? Was it Pulling John about John Brzezank? I, I've heard about it. I never saw it. No. It's good. I, know who, I know who he is. John, John Brzezank appears in that movie for just a tiny little bit. Yeah, he's just a couple like, guys in there that you see it for a split statistically second. Statistically, the winningest athlete of all time. John Brzezank. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. He's won for like 20 or something the, the, years. Yeah, like, he had a long run. What he did that. with stats was basically like he beat everyone at every weight, even right. though he only weighed like 220 pounds for so long that if you like relatively line it up, no one's ever been that dominant at their sport in any recorded sport. Yet he probably works at Kmart. Because he's yeah, he, was, he was actually so he was really funny. He was an airline, maybe is airline mechanic. Like yeah. he fixes airplanes, and like after he made like a shitload of money and was sponsored, and he didn't have to work anymore, you know, for arm wrestling, uh, they were like, "So do you just do whatever now and travel?" He's like, "I'm still an airline mechanic," and they're like, "Why?" He's like, oh, "I like it." And uh, uh, training doesn't take that long, and I get to fly for free. <laughs> <We're just> like, <laughs> You're the man. So he's thrifty. That's what it is. Yeah. All right. Coming up on our. By the way, I would do the same thing if I got rich. I would still hang out at the gym all day. Well, think you better not close the, the gym. Would just, gym the down. gym would just be a lot nicer. That's all. Oh, there you go. <laughs> like the bathrooms would be cleaner. Don't the water fountain would work. Don't waste your money on us. I think that's like an appealing. No, I'm talking for me, not for you. Guys. I think like that idea of doing nothing is appealing for like just kind of degenerate people. Like if you've had success, <laughs> I do nothing. I just do nothing at the gym. <laughs> well, like you like there's a point like after maybe two or four weeks where you'd be like, all right, I need to do something. Right. Right. I'm not just gonna like sit around and like watch Netflix. Yeah, because then you just you're no. just a pothead at What's that like point. What's like people yeah. look forward to their retirement? I'm like, what do you think retirement? 
retirement is. Yeah, I don't, you're old and you're sitting. I around. think the only difference in winning the lottery is you'd be like, you know what? I want to take a three week vacation. I'm going to do it right motherfucking now. Yeah, the only, like, the only right, good way to retire is if you retire with a lot of money, so you can actually do stuff. Yeah, don't so just retire then just sit there and plop your ass in a chair. And right, and just sit there. All right, and like, Steve, imagine that you have ten million dollars. What are you doing? You know, the funny thing is about me is I don't really have many interests or like doing anything. So I'd probably still do the same thing I do now, like only in a nicer gym. And you would mm. go to more country concerts. <laughs> I wouldn't go to any. I don't do concerts. No, oh. because you got to stand up a lot. The, no, I'll tell listen, you what. Before I do anything at all, even something like coming here, why do you think I have her with me? I need to be driven here. I couldn't. If I drove here myself, I'd be so enraged by now that I wouldn't be interesting or funny. I would just be like, and my truck would be parked seven blocks away, and I'd be shitting myself, wondering if it's being broken into or stolen. Probably. So before I, when I get invited places, I don't care if a it's a city, party, a wedding, or any kind of event. I t- I just consider like, where am I going to eat? What am I going to eat? Where am I going to poop? Who, how am I going to get there? Am I going to have to drive? Am I going to be able to park? Is my truck going to fit under the garage? Like, there's a million things that go through my mind. And I'm like, ah, fuck it, I ain't doing it. And I just turn everything down like that. I just that's why I don't do anything. Makes I just I'm just one. Of the, I came from a long line of Italian people that, much like Jewish people, we just live to suffer. There's like certain segments of the society Preach that, to the choir. Right. We just I just my father was like that. And I'm very much like my father. I was real close. So we worked together for many years and everything. And I'm just following his same pattern. It's like, like our family motto is literally, I couldn't wait to get the fuck out of there. Nice. You know, it's like wherever you're at, it's like you're looking for the door. Like, hey, get the fuck get out of here. <laughs> On that note, um, you are, familiar are you, with are you the, kicking him out? Is that what you're saying? You got to fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, the Irish goodbye. Oh, that's me. So for those the of Irish you who don't know, Marcos. You say I'll be right back and never show up. You, I don't even think you have to. You don't say even do that. You don't do no, that if you do leave. that, yeah, you just, yeah. you just gone. Like me that. and my wife go to weddings. Oh, so many dad jokes. We there. eat, and then like, okay, they can hear that the dancing's getting ready to start. Where are we at? Halfway home, gone. we're gone. She have to make an appearance. Um, I do that with my family. My and mom eat. You have to make an appearance and then pissed. eat. My mom gets real. Pissed. I can't do that with my parents because if I don't like hug them, my parents say, do it to me. And- <laughs> I'm not kidding. My parents That's do it. Like sweet. you take your parents out to dinner and like. You turn around and they're gone. <laughs> Look where they go. That's pretty sweet. They had to get out of there. <laughs> where they're at. Yeah, it's Sounds really like um, my childhood. You know, the Irish goodbye comes in really handy when, like, if you have to say goodbye to like two people, fifty people, it's great. But if you have to say goodbye to fifty people, it's just not worth it. And it's like you're not fucking dead. People know where you went. And you're you know? walking backwards to the door while they're talking to you. Like you're still walking sure. towards the door. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's so uncomfortable. I, I love the that. Irish goodbye. I do it all the time. All the time. All the time. Exit stage left. It's so great. Yeah. My fa- my family's Irish, and they they expect us always to like say goodbye to like trillion aunts and uncles Fuck that you have. That. And I'm like, and I sneak out while they're doing something. It's great. They don't um, they don't appreciate it. Though. When I'm hanging out with my folks, a lot of times they have older Russian people around, Russian Jews, and the conversations just seem with me. I'm not <coughs> sure where they're going because they always want a life update, like Misha. What are you doing right now? What kind of stuff? And I'm like, (coughs) I quit my job as a professor. And that requires a lot of explaining. Um, And then it's just just like pulling fucking nails. We like tell people the same story. Because they don't understand. Yeah, they have to relate to it. And then they figure it out. And and, and then you tell them that you don't have kids yet. And then they kind of give you this look. Just you tell me you work at a coal mine. They'll probably, they'll probably love Dominican. it. I'm I work a, at a coal mine 14 hours a day. I oh, we are I, so proud I, of you. I her. suffer a lot. Like, That's great. <laughs> I'm a 36-year-old Dominican without kids. That's pretty unique. Bro, I'm like the only one in my entire extended family ever. That you know about. That Without kids? That's kids at that 36? you know about. Bro, no. I, my pullout game is like Peter North. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you look up That's Peter impressive. North, he has like eight children. You're like, ooh, Shit. <laughs> Last question for the day. He leaves a lot of, he leaves a long line. Can Irish satisfied that very, yet very goopy women. <laughs> oh <my God>. Oops. <laughs> I, sometimes I just watch Peter North solo. Scott, do you ever watch just, uh, just uh, the guy? He looks, <laughs> you guy? look like you fucking watch that shit. He looks like he is the Hardcore. guy. Scott has been the guy numerous times. <laughs> PJ Koopmans. What? I think he's like uh, Danish or some shit. Pee Wee Herman? (laughs) Pee Wee Herman asks. Wow. We'll save the best for last. Number two is favorite cut of steak and how thoroughly done. I'm a a filet, man. I like a thick cut. Mm. Mm. Medium rare. Mm. Rare rare. to medium rare. Word of that. That's the way I preach. Nice. I prefer meat cooked. I'm a civilized person. Oh. So we'd have fucked that up. 
Fuck you, Marcos. What do you like? Do you guys even have steak in fucking Russia? I have numerous times. They have, but it's made of bread. To- <laughs> <laughs> Meatloaf <laughs> steak. The rich get steak. Uh, it's the poor. <laughs> Sorry. No, I mean they're literally the, the people. people. Yeah. People um, steaks. I've numerous times been to New York's various fine steak restaurants against my will because other people drag me there and have ordered veal parm and pasta and people. Because, you know, when you're like built. And you don't order like a fucking bleeding fucking yeah. animal, you fucking Let me fuck. get all your entrees times two, bro. <laughs> One, oh my God, this story sucks. There's a steakhouse in Chicago where they're like mean to you or whatever. They're like real. Are you talking about the DMV? <laughs> it's really good. Like a pet steak situation where if you don't order fast enough, you know, they start yelling at you. I, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like that yeah. kind of thing. So, but like we you're were talking sitting about the, there. The hot dog place or Wait, were you place? in Iron Sport? Is that what that? <laughs> you get yelled at by the owner of Iron Sport. <laughs> There's like a who's that? A renowned hot dog place where they razz you. It wasn't razz. Yeah, it I know. Was just I like saw a little too real. That. And so this guy like comes in and he's like a waiter or some shit, and he slaps a dead fucking piece of meat on the table and he starts describing which parts were. I'm like, what the fuck, motherfuckers? <laughs> that like way too close to my hand and shit. And I was about to be like, I will fucking beat you to death in front of other clientele. I didn't say anything because I'm a nice Jewish boy and it's not nice to act out. So then he was like, I was like, okay, he's taking orders. And I was like, this, this and that. And he's like, that's a lot of food. You're never going to finish that. And I was like, boom. And he's like, nah, I've seen that before. You're not going to finish that. I'm not going to bring it. And I was like, this is New York or Chicago? Chicago. No, that, that's what he sounded like. <laughs> okay. He and was, I was the, like, I was from New York, obviously. <laughs> clearly. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? I didn't say what the fuck, dude. Nice Jewish boy. So I was like, okay, I'll take it. I insist. And he's like, all right, but I'm telling you, he's never going to finish it. Sure enough, I had eaten multiple times that day already, and I was at the peak of a mass phase, and I didn't finish it. Pussy. But you know, they have this weird invention in Western society called a fucking to-go box. So I was like, I'll take that to go. And he looks at me. He's like, I told you we wouldn't ever finish it. And I was so close to being like, where do you want to die? Where do you want to die? Who the fuck talks to a goddamn clientele that's, like that? That's your ego. He was right. He knows you better he than you He was do. right about everything, but he was a fucking piece of he shit the right, entire time. Yeah. He was right. <laughs> and he was like a fucking curmudgeonial Dad, man. I was like, I will fucking break you. I'm going to hurt your bones. You should have left him a mystery tip. Should have finished it. Yeah, should've... mystery tip of negative. Be like, I want money back for this fucking shit. Should have finished it. Nothing I'm more soft. embarrassing than a guy carrying a to-go box out of the fucking restaurant. Steakhouse. That's just embarrassing. Fuck man. you, steakhouse. <laughs> it's, just, it's basically like saying, I failed, I'm a loser. <laughs> yeah, there's I would act- just rather get, when I can't eat, just throw it on the I'm floor and not tell anybody. I'm figure, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to this later. Have you seen Charlie eat sushi? <laughs> no. He, he's like, is in tears. He can never finish. Charlie has a lot. That's he hard. He orders all this food, food and like never finish it. And he's like, oh, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> nah. Poor Charlie. I would force it. There's honor and force feeding yourself when it comes to that <laughs> it's shit. True, right? there is. You don't walk out and hold that little bag like a woman. I love that bag, Steve. <laughs> Fuck you. And I, eat I don't, it later. I don't, I don't order a lot of restaurants you, though either. You I eat like a regular person. Well. You, oh, really? I yeah, do. That's right, you do. I'm a dainty eater. Yeah. Of course, I eat like five loaves of bread when they bring it to the table. That's why. Sure. Yeah, the bread's free. Sebastian free. Uh, Maniscalco is performing in a uh, whatever the fuck his last name is. Who? This uh, Italian dude. Comedian, he's fucking awesome, and he has this whole like Passover thing. He's like, I was sitting there for fucking two hours reading. I'm fucking dying. I'm Italian. I need bread. I need 15 seconds. I need to dip my bread in something. The Jewish Passover celebration is great. like you said, Steve, just torture. Yeah, um, it's just suffering. It's like who can suffer the most and be right. proud? It sucks. Italians are like Jews with better food. That's what they always say. Funny mm. enough, when I was flying to Israel for the first time ever um, last year, birthright. Or earlier this year, whatever the fuck it was. Birthright. No, it was not birthright. Whatever it was first call it. Whatever you guys call it. So um, Jacob was with me, by the way. So it was a lot of really good jokes. Mm. Anyway, uh, they ask you a shitload of questions screening because they don't fuck around. Like, their security's is airtight. Right. So she's like, I give her my passport. And she's like, how do you say your name? And I was like, oh, I got this. So I was like, um, the American way or the Russian way? She's like, both. I'm like, Michael Alexandrovich Israel And Michael Alexandrovich is in Italy. And she's like, okay. And she starts asking me. She's like, are you Jewish? And I'm like. This is like super technical answers. I'm like, I have Jewish ancestry, but don't believe in God necessarily. And she's like, okay. Do you celebrate? Have you ever celebrated any high holidays? And I was like, yes. She's like, like what? And I'm like, like Passover, fucking Sukkot and shit. And she's like, what's a typical Passover celebration like? And I was like, God damn. Like if you made up the fact that you were Jewish and you're really a fucking terrorist, you would have been had. Because, you know, like, if they ask me random holiday, like I'm trying to be Japanese and they're like, what about the holiday of this and that? I'd what if like, you're going over there just to visit and you weren't? Jewish, but, but then or, you, or a terrorist. But then you can't say that you're Jewish. Just oh, don't say I see. that. Just be totally honest. 
Why don't you just say you weren't Jewish? Well, because I, I got fucking my last name's Israel, dude. That would have caused they would have fucking raped me in the ass in the back. Say you're place. married. Yeah, and I took her name. name, and they're like, "So where's Mrs. Israel?" Like, I'm not name. actually married. It's your husband's Steve name. Told where's me to Mr. Say this. Yeah. It's 2018. I come out of husband. a New Jersey airport limping, you look at you, and I'm like, <laughs> "Fuck you, Steve. <laughs> Fuck you." They threw me out of Israel for being gay. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> it's fucked up. So in any case, uh, how did it end? She uh, asked me how an actual Passover celebration goes, and I was like, "Well, it's a Man, seder, specific. and you sit around for hours, and you don't eat, and you get pissed." And she looks at me, she smiles, and she's like, "Sweet, go ahead." <laughs> like, You've never have actually been to one of those. Everybody's just looking at their watches. <laughs> yeah, because if you were like, if it's a joyous celebration of life, she'd be like, "You're fucking lying." Yeah, but it was like it sucks, and she's like, "Respect, welcome back, fam." She's like, "I know, hold my AK." <laughs> yeah, that was sweet. I'm 16. Last question. Favorite zoo animal? <laughs> oh my god! Of course, it's a gorilla. Wow, it's really Everybody cool. knows that's the best animal. Ooh, I'm gonna debate you on this. The Why? rhino. They have rhinos at the zoo. Rhinos are cool. Not that many but left. And gorillas got a little gorilla. Dicks. What I want to know is how do gorillas get all those gains? <laughs> vegan they diet. Eat, they, oh, they, yeah. Yeah, they eat bananas. The ants, they don't bro. train. They're literally the vegan. They don't train. Do they just so well, hold on, Steve. A lot of gains, little dick, or big dick, little gains. A lot of gains. I don't like, fuck, man. Fuck that. Fuck the dick. If you Lord. have a big dick and no gains, who's going to fuck you anyway? Uh, shit. Good point. <laughs> having good sex. I don't know. It depends on what zoo you go to. I thought you were asking me, wait, I thought you were asking my situation. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Now you know. Brazzers. That was a question. Oh, I see. Uh, wait, can I re-answer <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, can I re-answer that one? Wait, wait. So, like... We went to the zoo in Australia, and then you could like hang out with like all the animals and feed them and like do crazy stuff. Like you don't get that in the United States. I don't know. Do you really want to do that? Though? Yeah, no. so those fun. animals. Yo, yeah. like I don't know. want a kangaroo kicking me in the face while trying to feed James. Look at this. They're like <laughs> that's not happening, pounds. fam. Nah. Dude, no, they were like two hundred pound fucking kangaroos. They're yeah, huge, and are, you could go up and nah. like feed them. Shit, and be like, I'm yeah, okay. I'm not trying to. I'm afraid of just regular barnyard animals here, like goats and horses and stuff. Except goats. We all like goats. We could all. Goats are great. Goats are dicks. At our Austria seminar. Assholes. At our Austria seminar, and this gentleman did follow up with sending me a link to this. This guy in the in the audience, very very pleasant man, said that there was a zoo in Austria that was a petting zoo, and they also slaughtered the animals and served them to people. So it was like. It was like educational for the kids. You're just saying goodbye to the animal. You're actually petting them. No, seriously. You're you're saying goodbye to them. But it's like, (laughs) Steve, how do you like your steak? Perfect. (laughs) It's meant to teach them about like food processing, right? And the circle of life. Yeah, circle of life. So you like choose your animal and they butcher it for the kids. And it, I, mean, I don't have any problem with that. No, it's fine, but it's just like it's very. That's where meat in, comes from. It's very intense for like a young a young person, you know. I'm not sure I want to see that. I, I like the little baby goats. I like to think about them as little babies. They're assholes, but they're man. So tasty. Mm. Yeah, but they're assholes know. or the goats. The goats are assholes. Right. But their assholes are pretty tasty, which is my answer mm. to the goat question. Do you ever eat goat? Have you ever eaten? Uh, eat hell yeah! Uh, really good. Shit. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. Yeah. Let's it's go good. eat some goat after yeah. shit. Mm. My answer, by the way, to the, the original goat question was, I want to be on video fucking a goat yelling to the world about it. I want <laughs> we're not, both, we're not surprised. Is that not an option? <laughs> I am the Valeri guy with a with But a then would the they head. believe you? Would you be like, I fucked a goat, and they'd be I'm like, like nah. That's CGI, bro. That's CGI. I'd be like, look, I'm a real Russian man. I fuck goat. Yes? Okay, cool. I tried. Favorite zoo animal is gorilla? Oh, he's any day. Gorilla, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go with something. Any zoo without a gorilla? Like that's should, not a real get, one. Yeah, sure. Llamas are really funny because they're like drunk assholes. I like llamas because they, they spit on they people. Spit on and do, yeah, they're like total dicks. So I'm gonna <laughs> out of the like, blue. Sounds like yeah, out of the blue. They like drunk metalheads. Basically, it's awesome. <laughs> no yeah. warning. No that's warning. Great. Those vomit <laughs> already. Scummy fucking people, James. Why do you want to go see drunk metalheads? It's just funny. Hmm. Marcos? he's a juggalo at heart. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I don't know. Maybe one of those felines. Which one? You can be more specific, Marcos. Do you know like the names? Bobcat, of tiger, lion. Uh, I like tigers, I guess. Let's go for a white tiger. White if tiger. To, if you have to guess, it's no not really your answer. <laughs> <laughs> so Rawr. my Rawr. answer is the toucan because uh, they're ridiculous looking and I and want fruit one. fruit loops are the shit. That's true. They are the shit. <laughs> all right. Wow, those were great questions, guys. Thanks. That was so awesome. You guys are all brilliant. The future I'm dif- of America. I'm, I'm disappointed in these questions. We Me had too. this wonderful I guest, we and all we talked about was goat fucking <laughs> and Fruit Loops and shit. There were other questions about, like, how do you structure your strong, strongman training transitions for powerlifting? Do you want to talk I about never that? Train, I never actually trained strongman. 
I was a straw man that didn't train any straw man events. We did back then. There were no event. Right. You couldn't practice. There was no equipment. Yeah. I've been in the straw man contest since two thousand, so it's been a while. Yeah. I did all Highland Games stuff, but those events I did train. But. Oh, Highland Games cool. Oh yeah. yeah, one of the questions that didn't make this list, Scott, but I remember it. Who would win in a fight, strongman, powerlifter, or Highland Games athlete, and why? If you're talking about like the top guys in each sport, probably a straw man because they're so much more conditioned. They're just as big, if not bigger, than the other athletes. And I think that would, you know, most characters are just literally I, three, three seconds mind, from death. The mental mindfuck of wearing hate. of some dude in a kilt trying to fuck you up. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, I appreciate it from a funny, like, it's humor, humorous, but like, I hate those types of questions where it's like, who would win in like this death Bro, match? It's thing. from it's the like, internet. The internet yeah. is I real. know, but it's like, none of them are training to fight. They're training to like pick uh, stuff up and throw it. How do you know? <laughs> The crab alien set this in motion years ago. Yep, the sports. Like, if you want to be a fighter, like do MMA or something, right? Like, the correct answer to the question is the MMA fighter, right? MMA exactly, fighter, right. or any level of boxer, no matter what size. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it has any. How that work out for Marius? I always tell everybody they see me, they go, "Well, man, you want to mess with you, man?" I'm like, "Let me tell you the secret of beating me up: make the fight last longer than 13 seconds, or just run. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be helpless I'm yeah, in most situations. I'm lost." Yeah. Or just don't start shit. Or just and we'll be friends. Or let's just hang out. Yeah, yeah, let's just be buddies. You know. Yeah. Steve would like to say thank you to our sponsors. Iron Sport Gym, Glen Olden, Pennsylvania. Ironsport.com. Look on our website for some of our latest products, t-shirts, and uh, water, water training fountains. training courses. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. James Mansplaining.com, letting people know that their opinions are wrong for numerous reasons. <laughs> Mostly. Uh, Mostly a good place. Marcos? Marcos's rings. It's uh, my own uh, cock ring that I just sell uh, for everyone. Customized, customizable. Do you like a sizing chart? Yeah. There is One like an sort of online sizing rings, chart? Yeah. Do you do you stick your dick in a hole like in a piece of paper? <laughs> yep. And you could add like little perks to it, you know, if you wanted like Can you do like an occlusion study. style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can for you sure. make it ribbed on the inside for my Absolutely. pleasure? Ooh. Oh, shit. For his and his pleasure. <laughs> Damn, that's what's up. Folks. I was going to have a sponsor, but nobody reached out to me. I have no money. Please send food. Thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. See you guys next Sorry time. the questions weren't Peace. very good. <laughs>